introduce us to yourself. Uh, I am Joe Brown. Oh, let me see. Okay. I am Joe Brown. Uh, some people call me JB, JB Written. So that be I. I uh I have a oh I have a podcast with you. Um uh, real name Wenton and my sister Jazz. We have a podcast called Everyday Heroes. Oh yeah, yeah. So yep, yeah, and that's what I do. Do my podcast <laughs> with you guys. So you are a very multi talented person. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You are, I mean, like you sing, you dance, you act. Is that something that was encouraged in your childhood or something you just picked up? Now, uh, I would say it was encouraged in my childhood. Uh, my mother, uh, she sings. Um, hold on, I got people walking in. Give me a second. Give me a second, okay? I'll be right back out. <laughs> yeah, so my mother, she was a talented singer. She also went to track. She also went to school for track. My dad, he went to school for football. So, you know, and all my brothers, we all played sports or, you know, we all was talented and or we, and we played some type of music and in, musical instrument. So, you know, I come from a background of a talented, talented family. So. Well, you play an, an instrument too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play the drums and I'm picking up the guitar. <laughs> uh, I played when I was a kid. Um, I stopped playing um, a long time ago. So I'm just trying to pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up again. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. So okay, so tell let's let's share with people how how we know each other. So okay. how how do we know each other? Uh, we met in Bush Gardens. We worked at Bush Gardens together. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and did you you performed in a couple of shows, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I worked there for about I worked at Bush Garden for six years. So and I know you worked there for you know a little bit longer than me, right? Yeah. So No, you, you were, were you're longer than me. Oh you, you did because I started and then you came along um afterwards. So and then I left before you left. So Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I worked there for six years. I started ever since I was like maybe twenty, nineteen years old. Mm -hmm. And since then what do you do to perform? Um, well, I've been doing plays. I did a play last year called All My Sons over here in Fayetteville. I did a, yeah. I yeah. love that show. Um, I did also a play called uh, Tartuffe over here in Fayetteville as well. Uh, that was like in 2018. Um, so I haven't been um, in plays as much as I was when I was in Florida, but it's still coming along here. And also I got an audition coming up uh the end of this year so hopefully that goes well with you what do you prefer to do most um sing or act act yeah act. Wow. singing well singing is something i picked up along the way um i've been writing poetry hence my name jb written i've been writing poetry since i was 16 years old 15 years old so um i went to a poetry night uh when i when i was started when I was like 18 um, and that's when I kind of picked up on my singing a little bit um, so but my first love was always poetry and acting and, and performing um, singing just came along the way of of kind of poetry and acting so you're not classically trained at all mm, no, no. <laughs> no. I, I don't know how many how many people you you pissed off when you said that <laughs> All the people who are taking voice lessons, you're know, like, it just came to me. I, like I said, I come from a background of singers. You know, my, my aunties have a, my aunties and my grandmother, they have a, a, a gospel album out right now. So, you know, um, and my, my grandmother, before she passed away uh, last year, she was able to make that album with my aunties. So, like, I, you know, my mother sing, my grandmother sing, my aunties sing, you know, so... You know, compared to my family, I'm, you know, I'm the worst singer, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, so, you know, um, so I'm, I'm proud to come from that. You know, my, my auntie write books, you know what I mean? So I do come from a well-diverse family. Does Jazz sing too? I don't think so. Uh, she write poetry. She write poetry, though. 
Yeah, she read poetry. You guys are so yeah, talented. Yeah. Okay, so you're a very charismatic person. Like you, you, you just walk into a room and like you would attract energy. Have you gotten yeah. that before? Uh, some sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes. Mm. So how does one be charismatic? Ooh, uh, how do you be charismatic? Well, I mean, that's that all depends on how you feel. You know, are you com confident within yourself? You know. Um, are you happy within yourself? You know, I don't, you know, I don't walk into a room trying to, to lighten up the room. You know, I walk in the room just being myself. You know, um, hopefully they like me for who I am. So, you know, so I can't really teach you how to be cares or teach or tell a person how to be charismatic. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own flow of who they're around, you know, and on, on their own personal struggles and things they go through. You know, I always say be humble, you know, be humble and be hungry. So be humble about. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be humble, you know, you know, because I get my dollar or because I get five dollars. I'm not going to go around shouting and, ooh, I got five dollars, you know, but I'm still going to be hungry for more. So, you know, and um, and I'm hungry to meet new people. I'm, I'm humble to meet new people. You know, I'm always trying to you know, learn new things. So, you know, it's just not, I, I think it's not really being charismatic. It's just being myself and being real. Hmm, very interesting. Okay. Equity or equality? Mm. <laughs> like which one is more important? Which which one would you prefer? Well, uh, I guess equality. Why? Uh, I mean, everybody want to be equal to, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I don't want, I, I want to get mine, but I don't want nobody not to get theirs as well. So, you know, you know, as well, like, you know, I support my music just as well. I support, you know, real names with music, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I, I don't feel like, you know, nobody's over anybody. So I guess mm -hmm. So you have an album, apparently. Yes, it's not out yet, but it is, it's in the works. When are you going to release it? Hopefully next year. It's going to be called First Written. First Written. Yeah. So oh, like that. Yeah. that sounds yeah, very like Alicia yes, Keys. And this is going to be actually one of my favorite ones because this is uh, stuff I have written, like, you know, since I was 16. So, you know, from now. So it's like, you know, I'm just putting my best foot forward and, and just putting those album outs. And usually, you know, even a big time artist, their first music uh, album usually their best one, you know, because it's stuff they had bottled in. So, you know, it's stuff I had bottled in inside of me and, and now I get to release it. It's a little nerve wracking, too, because I never really did my own music. You know what I mean? I did like musicals and other people music, but I never did my own. So. It's, 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 it's hard for me to put it out because, you know, just gaining that confidence. Mm. Can black people be racist? Of course. Ooh, why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can black people be racist? Yes, of course. Anybody can be racist, you know. Um, you know, um, I, maybe sometimes I'm racist, you know what I mean? Or prejudice. I call myself prejudice. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm proudfully, you know what I mean? I'm proudfully a black person. I proudfully want my black people to do better. I don't, I wouldn't call myself a racist. I don't feel like my race is over any other race. But I do, I would say I'm prejudiced towards certain, certain things, yeah. Would you mind elaborating? Uh... Yeah, I don't mind. Uh, I because the you know the meaning of the word race is you want your race to be superior. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Racist. Yeah. I don't want our race to be superior, but I do want to win. Like I do want you know black people to win. You know what I mean? Like far as like anything they're they're set out to do. You know what I mean? I don't want if you know we set out the job if we set out to get a job and we're qualified for it. You know I don't want our hair or our name you know, to stop us from getting that job. So, you know what I mean? Or, you know, anything, you know what I'm saying? So if we're more qualified than another, yeah, I would like for us to get. 
you know, so. But I wouldn't call myself a racist because I don't have the power. Um, to be hmm. Do you think there should be a second debate? Uh, and well, it, it, ignore the news. Ignore the news that Trump just got COVID. Ignore oh, okay. that. Without ignore that. that. <laughs> Let's pretend he's he's nice and healthy. Yeah, nice and healthy. Yes, yes. I I wish there was another debate, and I want to make this clear. Um, I'm not a Democrat, and I'm not a Republican. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't like Biden, and I don't like Trump, and I don't like mm -hmm. the people. You know what I'm saying? So me watching that debate the other night, I'm really watching it and listening to the topics, what they're saying, how they're acting, you know what I'm saying? You know, how they're responding. Because, you know, me being in the military, they're the first thing, one of the first things they teach, you, they teach you in the military is who's the leader. The leader person we're listening to, my boss, is the president. You know what I'm saying? So that's the boss, you know, that's the head of command, you know what I mean? So if he walked in the room and I got a military uniform, I have to salute him, you know what I'm saying? I have to look up to him. So yeah, when I watch those president debates, I, I'm not watching it as a Democrat. I'm not watching it as a Republican, you know what I mean? I'm watching it as a, a military man. I'm watching it as a black man, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching it as for my family, for me. So do I wish there was another debate? Yes, because I want to. I want to see them. I want to see the things there, the, how they answer the questions, what they're saying. You know what I mean? You know whether I think it's stupid or not. You know what I mean? I don't like Biden. I don't like Trump. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know what I mean? But at the same time, people tell me it's important to vote, and people telling me to vote, so I have to listen to these debates. You know what I'm saying? I have to. I have to make that decision you know, for my family, you know what I mean? So, so yes, I wish there was another debate and I hope, you know, I'm going to keep watching and hope something comes along and I'm going to keep, you know, talking to people, listening to people and I'm going to go, go vote because, you know, that's what I feel like. That's the right, that's what I need to do to make my mark. And thank oh, yeah. you for your service. No, oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> So we have another question from from Witten. Um, okay. He asked, "Do you think that it's um, I'm paraphrasing? Do you think that it's it's shameful that people of color are naming their children w traditional white names in order for them to to, to succeed in life?" Yeah, I, I, that's a good question, Witten. Um, I have a you know, I, it's hard for me to answer these questions in a such a short, you know, you know, answer. Um, but what I am gonna say is me being a parent, you know, I had that problem. Mm. Um I have a baby, my first baby, and I wanted to name her Joe Linda. Mm -hmm. Because my name is Joe and my mother, you know, my mother name is Glenda. So I put them together. Oh, Joe like Lennon. <laughs> yeah, I like it too. I think it's pretty. <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, and a lot of people didn't like that name. You know what I mean? I don't know the reason because maybe they thought it was ugly. Maybe they thought it was, wasn't, you know what I mean? Or whatever, you know what I mean? But it meant a lot to me because I wanted my first child to have a J name and also a part of my mom, you know, in it as well. You know, so... I mean, it was to the point where me and my girl was like, if, I was like, if you don't pick that name, I'm not with you no more. It, I mean, we was in a big argument, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, we talked about it, we got through it, and that's actually her middle name now, but, you know, I wouldn't tell a person how to raise their child. You know what I mean? You know, and, and I, me being a father now, I see how hard it is. You know what I mean? It's very hard, you know, to raise a child and to make it in this world, to teach them everything you want. I'm talking about school. I'm talking about clothes. I'm talking about money. You know, and it's like, you know, when I was by myself, I could figure it out. You know what I mean? I, no matter what, I figure it out. But what hurts me the most is going down and taking people with me. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I can't fail. You know what I mean? Like, I can fail on my own. I could be homeless. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I've been there before. 
I can live through that. You know what I mean? But being homeless and then looking over there, seeing a starving baby, seeing a, a starving mother or seeing some, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a difference. You can't look somebody in the eyes and see you failing. So, and that's why I say I wouldn't tell a person how to raise a child. Whatever you see fit to make it in this world, especially a black mother or a black father, I'm proud that you in your baby's life, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, and that's just a quick answer about, it. you know what I'm saying? That's just a quick answer that I can give you about it. So, you know, love your kids, man. Take care of your kids and give back. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 really the gener generation that I want to do. Like, I want to give back to my child so and then have so she can have something to give back to her, you know, and farther on, farther on. It's kind of breaking the barrier. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I didn't have much that my family was able to give back to me. You know what I'm saying? So I want to break that barrier and give back more than I was to get. Yeah. So you said that you're a sports person. Oh yeah, for sure. Love it. You do you watch do you watch watch a lot of games like pr mainly football, <laughs> basketball? Everything. Baseball, basketball, football. I watch it all. Like I'm a sports fanatic. I'm a sports fan. I love it. Uh you know, it's a game on right now, the Lakers and the Heat. You know, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so t let's talk about football for right now, since you know, kick off yeah. the football season. They're opening the stadium for people this weekend. So, can you tell us why the Buccaneers are the best sports team in all of history? Mm. I, I wouldn't say that, but oh, I oh, okay. Sports, I would say the Steelers is the best, but you know, to to okay. eat his arm, I, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. The Steelers got the tie yeah. with the most Super Bowls ever in history. You know. We tied with the Patriots, so and Buccaneers really? got how many? Yeah, Buccaneers got like one. Yeah, yeah. one lucky one probably back in two thousand, early two thousands. So yeah, I'm I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you went to that game too. So I actually, actually, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't go to that game, but I did go to the parade afterwards. Um, after they won the Super Bowl, and I got to shake, uh, Derrick Brooks' hand, Joe Jerry Bush's <gasps> hand. Yeah, and I got you know I saw Warren Sapp, and I you know I went to the parade afterwards. So yeah, I enjoyed. it. When they won. Oh, yo! I remember when Warren Sapp used to go to the to the AMC movie theater. He used to go to it all the time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. <sighs> but I'm not a Buccaneers fan. They never really been loyal to their people, like Tony Dungy and stuff. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. everybody. Tony Dungy it. talked a lot of crap about Tampa. Oh Lord, not really. Tony Dungy built that team. He, you know, and he, he built did. Team he for them to take it over. Yeah, you know, so. What's one item you can't live without? Mm, right now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, right now. Okay, item. Oh, okay. Uh, item, item, yeah. <laughs> I guess, you know, right now my car then. I hate to be getting around without my car. Is a is the um Lucky me in 2002, I want to say, this is, are the best team of all this. The Steelers are the best team of all time. Okay, Winton, that's fine. None that's of y'all are loyal. So, <laughs> 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 but, um, so is it is the tra transportation system not like reliable up there? Uh, this North Carolina is kind of like Florida, like you know, you kind of need a car to get around, you know, like yeah, you can you can take the bus, you can, you know, what I'm saying it ain't like New York, like. You know what I mean? New York, you probably don't need a car at all. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. you know, you can get right on whatever. But over here, yeah, it's a little harder to get around. So, you know, with a car, it's a lot easier to, you know. How are things up there with the quarantine? Uh, it's a lot stricter than uh, Florida. Uh, they, you know, you know, it's hard to go around and play anything. Like, schools are not opening up, like, Schools down here was closed for eight weeks, and they just announced again that they was going to close for another eight weeks. So they have to do it all online, no matter, you know, if you're in the public school, you're all online. So, um, and I, I'm actually in college now at FSU, Florida, Fedville State University, not Florida State. Um, yeah, so, and, uh, like, we got, like, 30 kids that's in a dorm, that lives in a dorm, that got COVID, and, like, five teachers. Yeah. So, yeah. What? Mm -hmm. so, they, so. so I don't know if you saw this, but um, Florida State just canceled spring break. Oh, they did. Yeah. Are, mm -hmm. are they? What do you? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think all colleges should do that? 
Uh, if, if they're, if they're going to open up their campus? That's a hard call, man. I, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know everything that has to do with COVID and, you know, in schools and everything. I haven't really been looking that up or keeping up with it. So I guess if that's the best thing for them, you know, but I hate that. I hate, you know what I mean? Um, I hate that, you know, kids now don't really get to experience that full, you know, college or high school experience. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I have a kid now, well, step kid, but, you know, I, you know, I take care of him with my kid. Um, he's just getting to high school, but it's all online. So it's his first year in high school. He don't even get to go to the high school. He got to stay at home and do his work. So, you know, I wish he would go to high school and get that college, ex you know, that high school experience. You know, he, he was exci so excited to get out of middle school of wearing uniforms. And now he gets to go to high school and not wear uniforms. But, you know, so, you know, that whole high school experience he missing. So speaking also about current events, so there's an article released that said that men should have sex at least 21 times a month in order to not get prostate cancer. What are your <laughs> thoughts on that? It's true. It's true. I swear to God. I'm not making that up. Google it right now. It's true. Well, then I need to have more sex then. I need to get more sex. <laughs> And get this thing rocking because I don't, yeah, I, I might use that one. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Uh, hey, shit, I like it. I ain't going to. I like that. I'm going to put on my girl tonight. We ain't having enough sex. You want to save my life? You want to get my life? You need to have more sex, you know? Shit, so I'm with it. You know what I'm Hey, hey, that's the hook. Uh, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. I'm still, I, I'm just in my 30s. I'm just trying to figure out my body and shit. So, <laughs> yeah. so we you have know another what? question. I, I, don't think, I don't think I can have sex 21 times a month. I'm not that That's sexual. Just like, well, like, you know, women men menstruate seven, t seven days out of the month. So it's just like the days when she's not menstruating. Yeah, okay, so every day pretty much. Yeah. I'm, shit. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, me, I'm the type of person, you know what I mean? Give it to me about, you know, six, seven times a month. I'm straight. Um, wow. Three three to seven, you know what I mean? Depending that's on it? Everything. Yeah, that's it. That's You're it. definitely not the average male. I Are you, not, though? I, I don't know. I, I don't like, I, I wouldn't say I don't like sex, but I don't like it. I wouldn't like it every day. I don't like it every day, no. I'm good. So you have another question from Winton. He said, what do you think of Michael Vick? What did he do recently? Is he okay? Is he alive? What I think about Michael Vick? I, I, um, I, don't, like, uh, I don't like when they call him to talk about uh, just about black quarterbacks all the time. But other than that, I don't know if something went wrong with him. But that's about it. I just wish, uh, I don't know, because there's a stigma on black quarterbacks. Uh, they have to act a certain way. They have to be a certain way. And they say black quarterbacks can't play in the game because they're not they're not they're not smart enough. That that was an old stigma. Yeah, really? they weren't smart enough to play quarterback and win a Super Bowl. So you know, and that stigma. And in, in when Michael Vick played, you know, he had braids. You know, wear jewelry, baggy clothes back then, and you know, and people was telling him, hey, he has to change the way he dressed. He has to change the way he got. He got to cut his hair. You know what I mean? And and uh, things like that. So I wish Michael Vick would speak up more for Black people as in, like, look, you could be who you are. You know what I mean? You don't have to try to fit in to to win. You know what I mean? You can still win with your braids. You can still win with your hair. So things like that. But other than that, that's how I feel about that. Who's playing you in your life movie? Uh, who's playing me? In my life movie? Yeah. Um, Let's say yeah. they're making a, a life movie of you today, right now. Oh, okay, okay. The actors, okay. right now. Yeah. yeah. So the actors right now, who's playing you? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who's playing me? I don't know. Uh, let, let me see. Uh, I think a person like, uh, I mean, psh, I don't know. Uh, that's a good. That's a hard one. I really don't know. 
Well, who's who's your favorite male actor? Oh, yeah, that, that's a better question. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I I used to like uh uh what's his name um the guy who played uh I love Jim Carrey always of loved Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Um, love Jim Carrey. I love uh, oh oh my favorite is Shia LaBeouf. Oh yeah, he's so oh my god. Shia LaBeouf is my favorite. I wish I, I I'm ready for him to have that challenging Oscar performance. Yeah, you know? he do like he do like low budget films too. Like he still do yeah. low budget films. So yeah, I love and I love that about him. You know what I'm saying? So he look. I feel like he really reads the script and he really he do what he likes to do. You know what I'm saying? It's, he don't he gets some big big roles, but you know a lot of his big roles too are like small budget. And if I was a big time actor, you know, I would do the same thing. Those good movies that touch somebody like that. You know? Yeah. Did you see Nymphomaniac? Nymphomaniac. No, I didn't see that one. I seen uh, Falcon. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that, was, that was so good. Um, should we have free health insurance? Uh, Canada got it, I think. I think, or England, yeah. one place. Yeah. So, should we have free health insurance in America? <sighs> Obviously, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. I'm glad you clarified that. Uh, <laughs> if we can, yeah, if it makes sense, you know what I'm saying. If we can, but you know, I'm a nerd. You know what I'm saying. People don't know this about me. I look up history a lot. I look up old stuff a lot. You know what I'm saying. And today, I was actually reading about you know when GDP started. You know when they started talking about the economy back back in the 1930s, you know what I'm saying? So back in 1932, there was a guy, uh, his name was uh, uh, Simon Kuzmitz, uh, who came up with the GDP, the GDP and the uh, Kuzmitz scale, and, and how to survive and, you know, things like that. And that's how the economy grew. And that's how, you know, pretty much they won World War II. So, you know, being smarter and, 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 and adding up everything of, everybody what everybody was doing so you know in that way it helped you know what i'm saying it helped us build a country it helped us build a build a war so so yeah we could take away and get free health care but it's going to take away something else you know what i'm saying and there's a positive side and there's also a negative side to things so we stop paying for health care you know what i'm saying our our military might get weak you know what I'm saying? You know, we stop, you know, funding money in other ways. Things are going to get weaker in the, in the economy aspect. So, you know, should we get free health care? Yeah, that would be great on our end. You know what I'm saying? But we have to look at the negative side on it, too, as a country. That was a really great answer. I appreciate it. <laughs> very, very logical. Very, very logical. How does one have a successful podcast? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. You tell me. What? You don't think <laughs> yeah. you guys are a huge deal? You guys uh, are a huge deal on Everyday Heroes. You, know, you tell me. See, I'm, look, look, you know what, though? Like I said in the beginning, you know, being humble and hungry. You know what I mean? Like, you know, a lot of answers. These are good answers. And I can sit here and act like I know it or tell you I'm still trying to figure it out as I go. You know what I'm saying? Like it's every day it's a struggle. You know, every day it's a it's a fight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm and I'm happy to take that fight. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to be more successful. So and I know I listen to other podcasts and try to mimic what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and get their ideas of how they're doing it, you know. So, you know, and, and if I can reach out to them and I ask them the same thing, you know. So I don't know how to be a successful podcast. I look up things like that, you know, every day, you know, what, what can I do to be more successful? How can I, you know, uh, do it? So I'm not going to sit here and act like I knew how to be successful. I just did it. You know, it was just something we started, we did it and it's growing and I'm glad it's growing. You know what I'm saying? And, and how to be more successful. Shit. Once you get the remedy, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it for real. I'm gonna learn. I promise you that. <laughs> okay. So where can we like you, follow you, stalk you, all that fun stuff? Uh oh, you want me to add all that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I'm on Facebook as Joe Brown 
uh, I'm on um, uh, da, 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 Instagram as JB Written. Uh, yeah, follow me on there, Everyday Heroes. Um, also, go on the link of GameMembers.net. Um, it's not all the way up yet, but uh, that's where we're going to be first putting our music and stuff like that, besides Spotify and all that stuff. Uh, look up Faded Thoughts by Real Name Went In. We got another guy named Ace Hicks. Look up him. You know, uh, look up yourself, Ashley Collins, and in the diaries. What was it again? Diaries of. The, them diaries is fine. Them diaries. No, no, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> the, the breakup diaries. Breakup diaries. Yeah. Breakup. <laughs> um, and follow also my sister Jasmine. Um, what's her What's her uh, Facebook? J Jazz Queen Lioness. Jazz Queen Lioness. Follow her. So yeah, man. You know, that's how you get in contact with me. Follow all the people that's around me. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. You know, if you follow you and then follow Jazz and follow Real Name, I'll be there somewhere in the mix. <laughs> I'll be there somewhere. And um, last question before I let you go, because I'm sure you have to go to dinner. Um, why do you care so much about people? Mm, that's a good question. That's a good question. Because you do. You, you, okay, you, you're, very, you're, you're, you're very passionate. And, not, and I don't think it's, I think it's very unfair for you to say that it's your prejudice towards people of color but it's like I don't think people realize our age realize that like we were born in the in between so it's like we know what it's like to have nothing we know what it's like to have a little bit of privilege you know mm -hmm. so it's like when you see someone who is hurting who looks like you you like that could be me yeah it could be so like why do you why do you care why does it matter so much to you if it's not affecting you you know why do you care about people I'm gonna ask a question on top of that. I'm gonna ask a question on that. Sh should I not care about people? Oh wow! You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, should I not? You know, what I mean? that that that'll be my question. Like, should I not care about? Like, you know, and that's a good question because I ask I ask that question in everything I do. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, speaking of military. Or speaking of, of you know, church, anything, you know what I mean? You know, you ask that question like, yes, I could sit here, right, and I could do nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can I can feel nothing from it. You know what I mean? Or I can just move on with my life, or I can do something. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to tie it together, like. That's a hard question because it's like, you know, it's like, to me, that's like asking me, like, why do you go to work? Should I not go to work? You know, should I, should I just sit at home and do nothing? Should I give up? You know what I mean? And, you know, and I'm not saying like, you know, that's the same room, but that's like that question to me. Like those, those questions are the same. And, you know, when you look, when people look at videos, like, you know, right now on the internet, it's a lot of black videos, you know, you see a lot of black videos, people sh shooting people, whatever, right? Or cops shooting people. It's easy to look at that video and say, damn, that's not me or that's not, I don't have nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? It's easy. But I know how it feels when it does happen to you. You know what I'm saying? And you wish that person was in your corner or you wish somebody was in your corner. It's easy to follow me when I have money and I have a podcast and we have everything going on, everybody following you and look good. But when you by yourself and you struggle, who's with you? You know what I mean? Nobody see that. No. You know what I mean? Nobody see the struggles. Like when I used to play sports, I used to wrestle. I went to nationals, I went to states. You know, oh, you yeah. yeah, all yeah. that. You know, even in football, you know, what I mean, in in everybody in sports, you know, they talk about LeBron. They talk about everybody. People see you when you, when you're on top on that number one, and they're giving you that medal, but they don't see you what it took what it took to get there. You know what I mean? And and 
you know, in me as a person, I know, you know, people say, oh, it takes a village to raise a kid. You know what I'm saying? But then when you see that kid in help, you're like, well, that don't have nothing to do with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, and I and I just ask myself, like, you know, it, it, the hard question for me is to ask myself, what's more important? Is it me making it or my mark? You know what I mean? Like, the things I leave back. You know what I mean? What's more important? You know what I mean? I can I can keep stepping over people to make it. You know what I'm saying? It can happen. You know what I mean? But when you look back at me, what are you going to say? You know what I mean? And the same thing for Trump. You know what I mean? Like, or people like Donald Trump. You know what I mean? What did he really leave back? He made it. He's, he's very successful. I like Trump. You know what I mean? Before he was president, I liked Trump. I didn't have no problems with Trump, and I still don't. You know what I mean? But when I look at him, what did he leave back? You know, what type of person he was? You know, fuck the president. I mean, forget the president. Forget everything. What type of person. Yeah, what type of president, what type of person you are? You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of things I look at. So, you know, you ask a question, you know, why I help people or why is it you know, why should I help people? You know, my question is, why shouldn't I? You know, I was raised that way. I was raised to be a good person. That, you know, my dad didn't raise me and say, boy, be a bad person, step on people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, he raised me, you know, help what you can, do what you can. If you can, help, help. If you can, do the right thing, do the right thing. You know what I mean? And everybody that raised their kids, you know, I hope they're not raising their kids to be hateful. You know what I mean? They're raising their kids yeah. to love people and help people. You know, and we seem and we seem to forget those things as we grow up. You know what I mean? As we grow up, we seem to forget like, dang, you know. It's better to help them out. You know? I don't know. I guess that's my best answer for that one. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Appreciate it. I really hope that that put some empathy in some people. You're very poetic. Oh in everything sure. that you do. And like your 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 words are just your words just flow like poetry. But okay. So go eat your dinner. <laughs> Enjoy your family. Thank you so so much for this. Y'all. Right? <laughs> like you guys feeling what I'm feeling right now? Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, comment below, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you, Joe Brown. No problem. Y'all go and subscribe to the Breakup Diary. <laughs> Bye. Yeah.